What's going on? This is Ron Carter, and you're listening to Lead, Sell, and Scale. This podcast is really just an accumulation of my entire journey when it comes to making money online. I think I start off in the very first episode of the first season talking about selling products on Shopify and then quickly move into affiliate marketing, which is where I made my first sales, and then insights that I learned as a coach and uh, really just documenting the whole journey. So I don't really sell anything on this podcast. If I do talk about links in some of the older episodes, they no longer work. Just letting you know that right up front. Uh, If you do want to check out some free training on what I help my clients do, you can always go to therealroncarter.com. But other than that, let's get right into the episode. What's up, guys? Ron Carter here, your host of Ecom Billionaires Podcast, and uh, I'm super pumped today. Today we're going to be talking about the common misconception that most people have about what it takes to actually be successful with a funnel. To be successful selling their offer using ClickFunnels, using uh, using this system to be able to collect the email addresses and then take people to your offer and, and uh, you know, of course, process credit cards and, and, and all of that stuff, right? So most people think that they just need to get the cookie cutter system and then run some ads to it, you know, to get people to click on their link and then they're set. The money's gonna come in, the sales are gonna come in and I feel like this is the exact opposite uh, of what you need to start with if you don't have an audience. So that being said, let's cue the intro. Let's get it. What's up, everyone? I'm Ron Carter, and I'm part of an underground movement of entrepreneurs who pride ourselves in giving value over making the sale. We put our message out to the world and let the people we can help come to us. We keep our nose to the grindstone because we know that every piece of content we publish is like a beacon of hope for the people we aim to serve. Unlike traditional marketers, we don't build complicated systems or funnels for the main objective of getting the sale or cheat by starting off with big piles of venture capital cash. Instead, we provide value, solve problems, build relationships, and most importantly, we empower others to do the same. We focus on contributing rather than converting. We're not in this game just to make money, but to make a difference. We build lifelong fans who we can serve over and over again. You're listening to Ecom Billionaires Podcast, and we our future billionaires. All right, let's go. Let's get it. Where we need to start to actually get sales with our funnel. Uh, most of us, so so much of us, we see, we, we hear about click funnels or we hear about funnels and the sales process. And we usually find out about this after we've already tried selling something and we, and we were unsuccessful. And then in some way, shape or form, we end up on an ad uh, on Facebook or somebody uh, posts something about, about marketing, about selling and about funnels. And, and we end up getting sucked in and, and, uh, and I mean that in a good way. We end up, you know, fi- like geeking out on funnels and finding out that all, all of their capabilities. And if you don't know what those are, if you don't know what all these capabilities are or, or what a funnel even is. It's just a system. It's a, it's a, and, and I know that that's not a very good explanation if you don't know what the system is for, but it's a, it's a sales process. Basically, it's a sales process that you take all of your customers through. You take them through the exact same process and, um, and it's, it's, it's what you do to sell. Like for example, a, a dentist back in the day might put out an ad for a, a free teeth whitening inside of their local paper. And, um, and then people see that, they come in, they get their teeth whitened for the free whitening. And as they're in the chair, the dentist notices that they have a couple cavities. And they say, hey, you got a couple cavities, we can fix this for you today, but it will cost this much. And um, and the person says, yeah, sure. And then afterwards, the dentist uh, fixes their cavities and then says, well, let's just get you signed up for six months for uh, a, another cleaning and, a, and another tooth inspection. And they say, sure. And they sign up for an appointment six months later. This is how the dentist is getting their business, right? They're, they're getting people in with a free consultation. They're making money on the actual cavity fixing if there's cavities. If there's not, they just give away a free cleaning. 
but they also got somebody to come back six months later for their paid cleaning because the next one's not going to be free. So this is the dentist's funnel. This is their sales process. And, and we can make funnels online digitally now. And for some reason, most of us think that when we are, are building funnels online, we just have to think of something that people want and then, and then give them an offer. But we actually need to start with the audience. We need to start with who, knowing who we're speaking to. Who is this funnel even talking to? Like the dentist that leaves that, that, um, that offer in the paper, they know exactly who they're talking to. They're talking to people who need their teeth cleaned or need their teeth whitened, like well, whatever the free thing's gonna be. I might've said whitening to start and, and switched it over to cleaning. Um, but it could be either or, right? Whatever the dentist chooses, it chooses. Like right now, actually using te free teeth whitening might be a better option than free teeth cleaning. Because people have been doing teeth cleaning, free teeth cleanings for years. And we all know that that's to get you into the, into the dentist's office, right? We all know that that's the beginning to a funnel. Even if we don't know what a funnel is, we know we're gonna get sold something. But a free tooth whitening, like that's, that's big right now. A lot of people are getting their teeth whitened. And... So anyways, this all starts with knowing the customer. A, a free to, uh, like tooth whitening deal would be better right now because that's something that's actually trending, at least at the time of recording this. And so this, is, this goes into knowing our audience. And you can't know your audience if you don't have one. That's my point. You can't know your audience if you don't have one. And a lot of us, we see everybody talking about funnels. We see Russell Brunson talking about them, showing you how you put $1 in, you get $2 out. And then you put those $2 back in, you get $4 out. You put those $4 back in, then you get $8 out. But that part of the process only works when you're running advertisements. When you're, Cause that's how you're putting money in through your ads. And if you have no idea who to show your ads to, then you're not gonna be getting those $2 or $4 or you're not gonna be getting double your money out. You're, just, you're gonna be putting double and triple your money in, right? And, and, and doing that over and over again until you find the right person. So what we can do instead, see, this, this is where a lot of us mess up with our funnel building. This is where I messed up when I started because I put my first funnel, my first offer together ever. And then I looked around and was like, okay, who can I send this to? I need to get people into the into here. I had no audience. I had no life, no one trust built with anyone. And then I just tried to run some ads and, and guess who would be interested. And, and people checked it out. They clicked on my page, but nobody opted in. And that's because they didn't like, no one trust me. They had no idea who I was. They're like, who was this offer coming from? And so we can build up our audience by publishing content by doing what I'm doing right now, right? By, by putting our message out there, by sharing what we're learning, even if we don't know our message yet, we can just share what we're learning. And over time, it will morph into your message over time. But you have to take the consistent action first. And it just makes it so much easier once you already have an audience, because when you, when you do start to run ads, you know exactly who they're speaking to. You know what to say, you, you know, you know how to help them. And so I say this because I'm not even running ads yet for my affiliate marketing. I'm, I'm profitable, but I'm not profitable enough to run ads. Because even with an audience, I know that I'm gonna have to spend thousands of dollars testing, getting, getting my ad audience uh, right, tweaking my offer before that offer is really profitable, before before I'm putting one dollar in and getting two dollars out, I know I'm going to have to spend a lot on testing, and I want to make all of that that I have to spend through my affiliate marketing, not out of my pocket from my day job. So this is this this step that a lot of people try to skip. They're like, oh, I got five thousand dollars saved up to learn this stuff, so let me just go ahead and start running ads. And and when you're trying to learn ads by running them, when you're trying to learn how to sell by running ads. <laughs> you're, you're, you're starting off with the biggest disadvantage because you, it's, like, it's, like, it's like saying, I want to learn how to sprint before I learn how to walk. Like, fuck the walking. Let's just go straight to the running thing. I'm gonna be a world champ. <laughs> like, you, it doesn't work like that. And, and I say that because of this. this. This is why I say that. 
let's say I have this offer, right? I have this offer to wash cars, right? Let's say I'm, I'm starting a car wash and, uh, and, and I'm washing cars. Uh, I'm trying to, trying to wash cars. If I can't sell my car wash service to all of my friends and family and people who all already like and know me and trust me, what makes me think that I'm going to be able to sell that to people who don't? And when you're running ads on Facebook, re, you know, guessing the interests, like not retargeting people, and not running ads that are going to people who've already interacted with you, but running ads going to new people, you are sending offers to people who have no idea who you are. And, and when you're doing, when you're sending unproven offers to people who don't know who you are, you're basically trying to sell stuff to all the people who aren't your friends before selling to your friends first. And when I mean friends, I mean your audience, your audience online. You can build your audience, sell to them, make sure that your offer works, that it's profitable. At least with the people who like, know, and trust you. Then you move to the people who don't know you yet. So to be able to do any of this, we got to build an audience. That's the first step. You got to be publishing content somewhere. And, And not only will that help your audience grow it'll help you refine your message i noticed that i got uh most of most of me finding my voice happened on this podcast but after doing it for months and months and months i started doing live videos on facebook and because i had already found my voice i didn't have to go through this like trial and error period with my live videos It, it, it didn't take long for people to start catching on and watching because I already knew how to deliver a message. I already knew how to speak. I already knew how to share what I'm thinking in an intriguing way for a while from this show, from doing this. Even though not that many people are listening, you know, I'm still doing it. And putting in the repetition is what's going to cause you to get better, whether people are are listening or not. And uh, and that skill transfers over. It certainly does. And um, it's funny because I started my Facebook group I initially started it so that as the audience for this podcast grows, like you guys will have somewhere to go to like to message me to hang out with each other. Like that's why I originally started it. And and now it's turning into this whole other thing where I'm using it to show people how to affiliate market. What's going on? There's a a couple hundred people in there now. There's way more people in the group than there is listening to this podcast now. Um, and, And that happened from my consistency here and then me bringing it over there. And and now I'm just a few steps away from being able to run ads and stuff. So you gotta focus on your audience first when you're selling. When you, when you, especially when you're figuring out what you're gonna sell, how you're gonna sell it, you're figuring out your what and your how, you gotta focus on them. So hope that brought some value to you guys. Catch you guys in the next episode. Peace. Thanks for listening, everyone. I hope you got a ton of value from today's episode. Make sure that you tune in for tomorrow's episode, Realization Wednesday. I got a few realizations um, in there to to share with you already. In case you don't know what Realization Wednesday is, um, every time that I have a realization or uh, a new epiphany um, about my business, about the strategy that I'm using to get sales, about whatever it is that I'm doing, uh, I pull out my phone and I document it. I record a voice memo and uh, I do it like that moment. And every Wednesday, I compile all of my voice memos um, and release them to you as an episode. And that is Realization Wednesday. So don't miss that. That's coming out tomorrow morning. Hope you guys are all having an awesome day. Thank you for listening. If you guys want to get more involved in the community uh, and, and you want to be able to connect with me and, and just get some content every day some live content every day uh join the facebook group Uh, it's growing we're we're, we i think we just hit almost 240 members uh as of the time of recording this and the link as always is in the description of this episode so you can go into the description click on the link join the group a bunch of great marketers in there that are all doing their thing and moving forward as a community and sharing and adding value and 
it's it's the place you want to be if you want to learn how to do this stuff that i'm talking about for yourself that that is the group to join affiliate marketing strategies so you can go into facebook and type that and search it or you can just go to econbillionaires.com slash facebook group or go to the link in the description <laughs> hope you guys are all having an awesome day realization wednesday coming tomorrow take care